sure what's good, it's your boy Young Langston. What's good, it's Real. You already know Spectrum, you already. We here, man. Definitely here, man. We definitely doing some big things, man. We not gonna stop. From entertainment to culture to it all, man, the whole spectrum. We gonna bring it to y'all like we told y'all before from the very first time we did this. That's what it is, man. What we got for y'all right now, man, is, is, is a special PSA. The state of black fathers. We're going to build on black fathers, man. Not highlighting those fathers that may not be a part of their children's lives, but we highlighting the fathers. Because there is some good black fathers out there, regardless what anybody said. Definitely so, man. I know statistically, man, a lot of y'all out there are single mothers. And, you know, sometimes you got to look at life choices for that. You know what I mean? You can't blame every father for not, you know, being a father, man. Myself, I personally, I love my daughter and my son. Uh, I take a lot of pride in, you know, doing what I do for them, man, and, and that's what we're trying to highlight, those fathers who try and go above and beyond for their kids. Yeah, we also got some special guests that you're going to see, um, Damon Miles. Right, that's definitely um, one of the special guests that we got. Right. Uh, Major Smith, yeah, Major, Major Success, Smith. as y'all know him as well. Israel Clifton, we right. got uh, Aaron Tate right. and Shane Banks. My name is uh, Damian O'Brien Miles Sr. I'm from uh, Mardell Springs, Maryland. I have one son, the age of three. His name is Damien O'Brien, I mean, Damien O'Brien Miles Jr. Uh, I'm a college graduate, bachelor, master's, the undergrad is in criminal justice, pre-law, master's, crim, uh, crim, analogy, emphasis in juvenile delinquency and prevention. And I'm a business owner right now. My name is Major Smith, uh, I'm 26. Music artists around here, you might have heard of me, major success. Israel Clifton, you know, age 35, you know what I mean? Got three kids, still standing strong, trying to make it out here. Yeah, my name is Aaron T, 32 years old, got one daughter so far. My name is Shane Banks, I am 39 years old, I have five children. Uh, I am currently employed at URS Corporation as a transportation agent and it is a logistics company for the military. You know, just shine a light on the shore, man. Make sure y'all look out for everything that we're doing. The Eastern Shore is our home, man. And once again, we're going we gonna to do it big for y'all. Got to. All right, so first let's get into it, man. Uh, given the outlook that society plays against the black fathers, how does it feel to be stereotyped? Well, in my opinion... Um, I would say I'm not I'm not really surprised because we are stereotyped in so many different ways, you know what I'm saying? But you know, if you if you if you not part of that stereotype then oh well, like stereotype type me all you want. I walk past old people and they grab their pocketbooks like I'm thirty five and <laughs> snatch me a pocketbook. True, true. Yeah. And the same for me, man, uh, being stereotyped, I, I set my own stereotype, I feel like I set my own standards. Uh you know, I, my father wasn't there, you know had different men in my mother's life and things of that nature, but at the same time, I knew I wasn't going to be like them dudes. I knew I had to do better than some of those dudes did to, you know, guide my life as well. So that's what, what the aim is. Right. I don't know, like, being singled out, like, being ostracized, you know what I mean? Putting a separate group of society or, uh, let's say, uh, like a, a lower standpoint, lower class of citizen, uh, a tertiary standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Whereas though you're not getting the best out of life, you're not being your best, and it just, it, it, you know, it overall, it just make you feel like, uh, you know, what I'm saying, you, you don't, you not, you don't have any self worth. It's ignorant, you know, but I believe it's ignorance in the world. You know, what I mean, it, I don't let it apply to me. I don't let it bother me because it doesn't apply to me. Uh, I would say for me, it really isn't a big thing of breaking the stereotype because. Uh, like one, I never, I never grew up with a father, but my grandma installed me, it's installed in me values that what a man is, what a man is supposed to do, and I feel as you look at the society uh, values of of uh, of the black man, a lot of people uh, play in, uh, play into that role, and they believe that only men we can be categories in, uh, into a certain box, but to me, I really don't take it as a plight because I believe I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do, uh, raise my root. Raise my son, cause like I said, I never, I never had a father, uh, and also give back to my uh, community also in the same time. So I don't take it as a. I mean, I'm I'm beginning to have to fight against the stereotype. I mean, the things I do is hopefully that I can show other uh, young men like me, and also we can uh, we can change that uh, ideology of 
the black man is, that can only be stereotyped as an athlete, a rapper, or we have to do uh, illicit things as uh, being a street, street farmers? Uh, this shit really shouldn't hold no bearing if you're doing what you're supposed to do. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, then you should feel some kind of way. But I don't feel no type of way about the stereotype because it don't apply. Well, it doesn't feel good at all to be stereotyped in that way. I have been stereotyped in that way. Um, you know, it makes you feel like you're not part of this society that you live in. Um, it's a very unfair feeling. It's like uh, a feeling of like you don't belong, and which I contribute to this country every day. When I walk out of my door, I'm contributing to the better of this country. And um, so not only do, does it make me feel that way, but you know thousands of others feel the same way and it's the last way that I want my children to feel when they walk out of the door and so I totally disagree with that type of stereotype I mean it makes you upset especially when you're a father that you know does what he's supposed to do you know like I said us as African Americans man we get a bad rap for not rap. taking care of our kids man you, you know bad rap. we get uh, a bad rap for everything yeah. the least little thing we do we get a bad rap but if you look at the statistics for crime, for example, right. we don't, blacks is not leading in the committing crimes, though we are leading in the conviction of crimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is all about what the media going to put out there. And how you know they depict it, man. Like he said, once again, we're not leading in it. It's just the others get off with it compared to we do. We don't have the money to pay to get off like other people do. So right. you know, that, that's where it comes from. Right. So, right. It's funny because uh, even with what I do in business, if I was to see some of the people I interact with, it was my street clothes on, they are very uh, unreluctant to even speak uh, speak to me because if I take off this shirt, yes, I I'm have uh, a number of uh, tattoos. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's it's really it's really sad that people really still portray certain. Uh, I mean, us as black men as a certain. I would say at a certain image of that, you know, if they see us outside of that norm, we're almost a sellout or things like that. If well, it feels pretty good to break that stereotype because that stereotype is not fair for African Americans. Um, you cannot be judged just by how you look, but you must be judged by the content of your heart and your character. And I think that uh, being a good father uh, will also instill that in your children and you need to teach them that that they also need to have good character as well and spread that to their children and that's the only way that we will get rid of that stereotype by teaching our own children uh, not by changing another man's mind but by teaching our children that, uh, that that's that's the right way to live. If you were to go to attain education it's like we still have to fight within our own community to say that we are still black and you know I still I still am a uh, I still am a black man so to me I feel it loosely as that you know sometimes it's it's kind of it's kind of nerve-wracking because the things that a lot of people before us died and you know installed in us today is really taken uh, take taken for granted and a lot of young kids that I seem to and come in, come in contact with they see that as being a sellout as in uh, being responsible, taking care of your kids, or even getting an education. The look you see in your child's eyes from the love that you show, how does it make you feel as a father? Oh, man. You know, I got two sons. You know what I'm saying? So it makes me feel good and proud, but at the same time, I ain't going to show it. I'm breeding warriors. You know, I don't show it. You know, you got a little girl, so you get, oh, my baby, but my little boy, like, stand up, man, up. But it definitely... It definitely make you feel good. Like my father, he is he is always he was always around. You know what I'm saying? He may not have been there a lot, but he was always around. And now that I'm old now that I'm older and grown, you know, I know and understand certain situations that a black man face in, in this society, man, is 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 crazy. You know what I'm saying? So he did he did the best that he knew how to do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times if a father ain't there at all then it's really no excuses for him. But I would say my, my father did did what he knew how. He gave the most love that he could give, you know what I'm saying? And despite the, you know, situations and struggles that people face in society. How about how I make you feel? Oh uh, man, you know, like like it's the best feeling in the world, man. Like you said, once again, coming from a single parent home, man, being the oldest child, 
it's a lot of struggles and memories that my brother and sister can't remember. You know, so the love that I had was from my mother. You know what I mean? I never really had the love from a male figure in my life. You know, my uncle, you know, God rest his soul, he, he's still living, but he, at the time he was on drugs bad. I had an uncle in the army and every other, all the other males weren't around. Yeah. So I got raised by women. You know, thank God, like you said, you know, I ain't turned out to be no, you know, other way. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, the love I see from my child, my children, is like, it's the best, man, when you, because it's genuine. I feel you though, cause a lot of times, like, you know, my uncles and my fathers, like, they was around, but they never really uh, groomed me or, or, or raised me into a man. And it's sad to say that the streets did it, prison did it, man. You know what I'm saying? But now I, I'm much older. From from the things that I've been through, I grew into the man that I am. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm proud of who I am. Thanks to my mother, my grandmother, and my older sister. And it, and it also takes an open mind, man. Don't get right. it twisted, man. Be hungry for knowledge. Be hungry for information. And everything you hear, question and research it. Right. I mean, that's important. Right, 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 right. And it feels wonderful. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a, I feel like a champ. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, you know what I mean? Like, a, it, it always feels good to do the right thing versus, you know what I'm saying? We got a propensity to doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, it just, it just feels great. You know what I'm saying? It feels real strong. Right. Man. It feel good because like I see a lot of people. I grew up in the era where it was no no fathers around. I was fortunate enough to have mine around, but at the same time, keeping that tradition going, it just shows you how a household can glue, and you need that mold, I believe. I mean, that's a that's a that's a wonderful feeling. You know what I mean? To do for us as black men to do what's in our nature to do. <laughs> It's the most, it's the most powerful. It's the most gotta be the most empowering thing I, I've ever seen. Cause like when you have when you have that child and you can have the worst day in the world. And when I see my son, first thing my son always tells me is that, Daddy, I love you. So that means if I can have the baddest day, or it doesn't matter. You know, if I had a very unprotective day, whenever I'm around my son, it, it, it doesn't matter. And the same thing goes when I mentor other kids that aren't mine. You know, some of the subtle things I I I do for them. You know. They give me that same passion and also love, uh, love back. So I mean, that's that's got to be the most powerful gift that men that we need to recognize that we we take care of our kids. You know, that's the most that's the most impactful thing I believe is you get an opportunity to raise, to I mean, you're getting to raise another uh, another black man. Um, the look that I see in their eye it makes me feel pretty good. You know, uh, I go to work every day, and you, it's not something you think about every day, but every once in a while you think about what you're actually doing and you know while you're going to work while you're getting up uh, while you're dealing with some of the things that you deal with on your job and ultimately you're doing those things for your children uh, for them to be provided for right now and so they can have a better future so it, it makes you feel pretty good it's a wonderful feeling it's like the best feeling in the world one of the greatest feelings in the world to know that you can help shape somebody's future and the love that you give them is going to play a major role in the development of that child. Inspirational, you know what I'm saying? Inspirational. Uh, like I said again, it's like going back to the other question, like you, feel, you just feel strong, you know what I mean? You feel proud, you know what I'm saying? That's what, I mean, that, you know what I'm saying? Being a father, I think that's like one of the greatest positions in life, you know what I mean? It's like one of the most important because to a, to a, to a child, you know what I'm saying, son or daughter, you know what I'm saying, make a father feel like, you know, the child feel, you know what I'm saying, like, it, 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 it's like the father is God to the child, you know, especially when you lead them in the right direction. It's indescribable, you know, I, I don't see how a lot of fathers couldn't be in a child's life, and I don't see how more fathers don't play a role in the community just trying to be a father to somebody else's kid, not saying go out here and have a baby with someone else, but I mean, like, these little kids around here look up to you, you know what I mean, if they see me, you know, and they pay respect, and that's what builds a community, that's what builds a village. Um, you know, we'll move on with it a little bit, um, through your, invo through your involvement and guidance um, in your child's life. Do you uh, believe that the child will be successful? Yeah. Uh, one thing I do believe, man, is uh, kids are sponges. So the actions that they see, they learn from more than anything. 
uh, not to toot my own horn or nothing, but you know, the things that we are doing, if my kids is watching, I know they're going to be successful because they're going to be just as determined to make anything happen with the, the most not reliable resources or not the most amount of money. Right. That isn't an excuse to not make things happen right. for change right. or make things that you want to have to happen. Right. You don't need all that. So I feel like, you know, them watching and me leading by example, definitely they're going to be successful. I, I, I can dig it. You know, I feel as if my sons are, uh, will be very successful in life because of their mother and father guidance and grand, grandparents guidance. But at the same time, a parent can only do but so much. You know what I'm saying? Once that child reaches a certain age, then, you know, the, the things that that child go through or the things that that child experience can take everything that you instilled in your child, twist it, and bring back, bring about another outcome. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta, gotta stay on them. You know what I'm saying? And make sure they we breed successful children. And it's breaking the cycle. Very important that you continue the things that were important before, man. Like everybody said, and we talk about it sometimes, in the civil rights movement, we fought to be educated. We fought for the rights that we have today. Now we got them, and we ain't no longer fighting for knowledge. We right. no longer fighting for the right things. Right. We, 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 you know, complacent with where it was instead of continuing to fighting for better. Right. So at the same time, for your kids to be successful, they still got to read. Right. You still got to be involved in their education and knowledge and, and, and the empowerment of self. It's the, it's, it's the duty of man, you know, man's duty is to be the protector and provider of the universal family, you know what I'm saying, rather, if, even if you don't have no children, you may have nieces and nephews or children in, in the community, it's the duty of man to be the protector and provider, so it's a must. It's a must, man, it's definitely a must. So we're going to move on to the next question. Uh, how do you remain through all your obstacles and struggles to still be a good father? <sighs> That's a good one, because it's, 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 it's obstacles and struggles out there, part of my friends, but it's obstacles and struggles out there for your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm Most saying? But, stacked you know, up. <laughs> right, right. You just got to gotta stay humble, man, and maintain and, and stay focused and realize that regardless of what you're going through in life, any trials and tribulations in life, for one, it's going to only make you stronger. But, you know, on the, on the child's note, you still got to be involved in that child's life regardless what you're going through because me personally I don't want to see my children face none of the struggles that I face right. you know what I'm saying so I have to be there to make sure that the struggles that I went through Damn they way. don't they don't go through because it's, it's painful it's hard and me myself man like I felt like I gotta honestly say when I had kids and when I, I took that role of, of, of being responsible you know what I'm saying it, it was the sacrifice my, my what I want in life don't matter no more, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, that comes second and third to what my kids need. Right. And I mean, not even they wants, because kids want a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? It's the necessity of needs, right. you know what I mean? I know what they need, and they need to be educated. They need self-knowledge. They need love. They need to understand that they are somebody, you know? And, and that's how it's got to be, man, so. Yeah. I definitely feel that, you know what I'm saying, my children will be successful because I helped shorten the road between you know what I'm saying, where they at in their destination. You know what I'm saying? You cut out a whole lot of mistakes and a whole lot of pitfalls and different traps that they would, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, get uh get uh you know caught up in, tied up in, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you put those boundaries around them. Whereas though you can guide they they outlook in life and helping them make wise choices. Right question. How do you uh what advice would you give the fathers that may go through obstacles and struggles, what advice do you give them to still be a good father? Uh, always talk to your child, your children, whatever, son or daughter. Always coach them, you know what I'm saying? Encourage them, give them that good word, you know what I'm saying? Instill that, uh, that spirituality in them, you know what I'm saying? Minus the religion, instill that spirituality in them, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 those first fruits. You know what I'm saying? Because when you plant the seed, it's definitely going to grow. Yes, through through my guidance, I, I believe they will succeed. Uh, uh, I teach my children to be respectful, uh, to treat everybody with the same respect as they would expect to be treated with. Uh, I treat them to be respectful to their parents, to all adults. And, uh, of course, they are adults now themselves. So I've seen what I've taught them uh, manifest in their own lives. 
And so uh, I 100% believe that yes, the way that I teach them and treat and teach them how to live and how to treat others, it, it does have an impact, a positive impact on their lives. Um, children that don't have somebody to teach them that have a huge disadvantage going forth in their lives because they don't know how to react to situations or different people. Uh, but the first way to act or react in a society is to treat people with respect. And I think you'll find that you'll go a lot farther when you do that. Um, I'll say yes. I mean, because, you know, su success and something come on easy. I, uh, me, me, me and my son's mother, we, we definitely install values into our, our son already. Like, my son's three years old. He speaks Spanish. He can count all the way to 30. He knows all his shapes. He knows his colors. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's very in tune to anything that, you know, he's, I, I say he's well above being three years old, some, some of the things he knows. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing for me. Like, I mean, I was a, I was a good athlete, but you know, my, I can see my son be a good athlete, but my big most thing is, that the, is, is the education first. I told to my son, if he does not have a 3.0, he will not be able to play sports. And I, and I would truly stand by that because, you know, sports, you know, that's very, I mean, it can it can come in there, but the the, the the education that he will get, and I will stall him in life that he will never he will never forget it, and nobody can ever take what you uh, who, uh what you know. So. Oh, most definitely. Uh, for one, you know, daddy's not gonna have it no other way. Right. And for two, I've made enough mistakes. The God her best I can. I mean, I'm a she's gonna make her own. I understand that, but at the same time, I made pretty much most of the mistakes for her, for the family, try to make end it now, you know. Also the concept of, I just, for all you fathers out there, man, and, and mothers, man, like he said before, finances may not always be what it is. You know, time equals money. Now, that goes for work, that goes for anything, man, but it especially goes for your kids. Sometimes your kids don't want financial or materialistic things. One thing, one thing real quick that, that I seen a, a couple of uncles instilled in me, um, stepfathers, you know what I'm saying, where they raise children that's not theirs, that's a man move, you know, like the woman that you're dealing with, you have to embrace her, her children just as well as your children. Because they're part of the future. And you are Especially the protector. Your future. <laughs> you are the protector and provider. So you definitely got to do it. Now, I respect all stepfathers out there as well. It comes back down to your children. What makes you a father? Your children. And so through all every obstacle you face, whether it's on, at work or, you know, out in society, uh, you have to be a strong father to show your kids and teach them the right way to go. Uh, teaching them how to respect people, teaching them about taking care of their responsibility, uh, teaching them how to react when, t when times get tough. Uh, that's all a part of being a great, great father. Um, you know, some children are brought up with, without a father, which mothers are doing the job too. But there's something about the God-given ability of a father, a man, a leader of a family, that when he steps in and teaches the right principles to a child, it has a positive impact upon every child. Um, so yes, uh, I, I really believe that uh, teaching them the positive ways uh, through my through some of my uh, struggles and obstructions I had to face, you know, but continue to teach them through those things and showing them how I made it through those things uh, will help them in their lives. Never take it out on the child. And if you know, I know I, I deal a lot with some people talking about the child child support issue. You know, I'm just not uh, I'm just not getting along with the mother. I mean, it goes from the man and the female that you got to remember the child is innocent. The child didn't ask to be here. So that means if we have to deal with issues, we need, we need to have a run where, okay, we're dealing with issues amongst us, but our child is always separate from that. We, you don't need to argue in front of your child. You don't need to put the child in the middle to take, take sides of the parents. And also for the, for the men, I mean, I know it's hard sometimes if, you know, you may be paying child support and you still have to give him marginal or, or you know, not nominal cash out of, your, out of your pocket. But, I mean, it's hard to say, but, you know, it's still going for your, uh, still going for your child. And I feel that you know the woman side of it, you that you, we need to we need to take that and mend that relationship and stop getting third third parties involved in our relationship, as is in the courts and things like that. Because you remember, that's just a document. I mean, that's just a document. If one breaks it, it's just that you can go to the court and say something. That's not going to mend the relationship that you uh, 
that you have with that father. And you know, you, you, the promise thing, just don't, just don't ever take it out on a child because the child is innocent. And you know, as, as a child gets older, he's gonna see that disgust or animosity that you may have for uh, each other. So I tell any, any young man is that, you know what I mean, if you can't make it with, you know, with the mother, you guys need to sit down and have a conversation for you to understand that, you know, I still want to be involved in my son's life and this is how it's gonna be done. And we and you just need to recognize that as you know as as adults and also as uh, providers for your child. Just 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 be yourself and, and do your nature. Your nature is to take care of your children, even if they're not your children. You still, and if you were a woman that have children, you're obligated for for those children because you're in their life. So, and it's in the, it's the nature of every man to take care of their child. It's just the situations and the things that we face. That's kind of got us astray from the path, but we'll make it. As long as we stick together, brothers like y'all doing what y'all doing, we'll be all right. I mean, just keep pushing, you know. You only fail if you don't try is what I believe, you know what I mean? And if you don't have money, time is the best gift we all been given, you know what I mean? So if you spend that, it's, it's better than any laptop or new... Xbox 360, 720, 14, 40, whatever you want, you know. Just keep pushing. Job opportunity, they might tell you no, but that's the worst they can do. No don't hurt. Failure don't hurt. It's when you give up on yourself. And you got to stay strong. We all have the days where we feel down, you know what I mean? Pray to whoever you may, your higher power. And uh, just keep pushing, man. We strong, it's in our blood. Alright, All right, so that's what it is. Us as men have to be more responsible for our communities. Right. You know what I mean? That's where it comes from. You know, as leaders and as strongholds of the family, you know, we as men, like you said, even if you don't got no kids, your community, you got kids. Yeah. So you gotta be the you know the protector. Dealing the with body. the community, I blame I blame no one but man. Yeah. You know? Most of we, we it's us. Yeah. The community messed up, it's our fault. If the women is messed up, it's our fault. If the kids is messed up, it's our fault. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get us right, get us together. Because once we get it in the get in the core, then everything else can get in the core. If the sun is out of whack, the planet's going to cease to exist. That's the thing, man. You got to shine bright and help these people understand. Like we said, we still going on with the state of what fathers do good. But we want men to understand, you know what I'm saying? It's just not about being a good father. Right. You know what I'm saying? To just your children. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's, that's the start. And that's right. a positive outlook, but we still got to say, man, it's other kids in the community that need fathers as well. Being good fathers, uncles, cousins, neighbors, role models, role models, all this is the duty of man, man. Most we need it. We need it. So, once again, man, state of black fatherhood, it's a lot of good fathers out here. You're looking at two in front of the camera right now, so, you know, big ups to everybody out there that's doing their thing. Big ups to everybody that's, you know, taking care of their kids, man. Big ups to everybody that ain't taking care of their kids. Like I said, my father wasn't there, and that taught me how to be a man. You know what I'm right. saying? It was a hard struggle to learn that way, but it taught me what it taught me. Now, if you're not taking care of your kids and they grow up to be extra successful, and then you want to go through the handout when they piss in your hand, don't get mad. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> don't get mad. So we're going to sign off, man. You already know what it is again, man. It's your boy, Young Langston. You know this is yeah. You already know it's Spectrum. Spectrum. And this is what we do, man. Spectrum Project, Spectrum Talk. We here. Eastern Shore, man, stand up. You all right.